Real quickly, let's talk about dynamic color and templator. So templator can affect solid settings. Uh, you can see here I've got this layer called tint, and if I hide it, you can see that this wood texture is showing up. I've also applied a hue mode to this solid layer so that I can get some of that texture in there in addition to the color that I want. I've applied the templator settings effect to this layer. So if I double click this, you can see that I've got this color group in my templator settings effect. Now I have this checked under dynamic fill. So if we go to the spreadsheet and I look at my tint column, you'll notice that this label here, tint, matches this layer name. And if you look at these values here, these are hex values that you can find in you know, something like Photoshop or Illustrator. So for every render job, the tint layer is going to get a new hex value. So when I hit preview, what it's going to do is change that dynamic color for that solid layer. So you can see even in the preview icon here for the tint solid, um, when I hit preview, it changes as well. So that's how you can get dynamic colors to appear in your compositions.